very few uh, astrologers do past life astrology yeah. you are somebody i think uh, you start your astrology with the past life why yeah. is it why do you do that so the thing is when you start doing the any reading right hmm. so there are a lot of insecurities within us right. you'll see a, a very young kid right. is trying to hide something Right. or is very attached to a certain person in the family right there's a reason behind it okay even the food habits like hmm. i'd like this i do not like this why hmm there has to be a reason behind it true so the moment you pinpoint that reason to person hmm that there might be a chance that this particular person might have been separated from you in a past life like there's hmm. a chart of a very young kid and this kid has a ketu in the second house okay so it means separation from family because yes. ketu is a kark of separation right absolutely yes now that dispositor means where the ketu is sitting hmm. it is going in the seventh house okay so i said after this kid is born hmm. did the problems in your married life started happening okay because this kid is a reason that you two will get separated hmm and this kid will suffer the most she's carrying the karmic baggage with her and that mm. is why whenever she goes to school she comes from from school mm. she comes and hugs like you know she's away from like million years oh now that's a deep rooted insecurity mm. the moment i told this to parents the parents were like they tried everything not to get divorced them. they started working on this it. okay okay otherwise i could have given them any remedy mm. they will not understand why a kid is behaving in a certain manner the moment you pinpoint that particular issue to a person hmm. he will understand i mean humans understands logic human understand that emotional part Very right true. Hmm. the moment you give him remedy only and hmm. do not explain why this kid is carrying a karmic baggage for you right i mean you did the same to her in past life you made him made her suffer that you because of your divorce she was very alone in the family she had to go and live in boarding okay and then i said okay in your family was there a cases where somebody go and went out and live in boarding and they said it's a family history oh they had a family history, history of, of people going and staying in boarding abroad. school yes oh. so now when you start understanding this karmic pattern in a chart hmm. for example there was a person who had a mars rahu mars rahu mars rahu which is extremely violent combination yeah and it's sagittarius sagittarius is a war sign okay in a war signs right mm. so i said and this is happening in a ninth house of dharma religion mm. yes temple yeah i have to ask who died in your family due to religion or fighting for the religion because this person says you know i always see because this person sees violent dreams okay you don't know why oh okay then i started connecting it to the religion i said have you ever fought for in this particular time period hmm because that dashanta dasha will repeat yes yes have you fought for the temple there is a fight going on with temple in this fighting court case with the temple yeah and uh, I, i said let it go hmm. this is the carrying baggage you carrying your mass now will not trouble you hmm. if you let that court case go you see when you make them understand the people leave their properties hmm.